Hi, my name is Terry Lloyd. I'm a visual artist and storyteller. And if it looks like I'm reading off of cue cards, it's because I am. The work I'm sharing with you today is the result of a two-year exploration of unlearning. The catalyst of which was the death of my father in late 2017. His passing opened up a floodgate of creativity along with a need to honor my grief through art making. It was also time to move my practice in a different direction. That direction would move me out of my comfort zone of digital art and take a radical leap back into painting with my other hand. My mentor suggested an exercise of using both hands to write letters to myself. The less dominant hand would be the child I was and the dominant hand the parent I wish I had. Only I didn't want to write letters. It was necessary for me to take ownership of this exercise. This would become a process where poetry, broken haiku, and the innocence of visuals collide. There I could commit a sort of psychic harakiri, spilling my guts, so to speak. During this process, I stopped using the label artist to describe myself and remove the weight of professional and technical expectations. It was important to relinquish control and let the art guide me. Suspending my inner critic gave voice to long silenced memories and trauma. Within a year, I had the courage to return to painting with my dominant hand. My next body of work is a retelling of my dysfunctional childhood. Here I'm in a collection of old family photos. Photos that are quirky and often lack proper composition pushed me to take creative risks. Peeling away what isn't necessary, I am able to reveal core feelings and dynamics. At once, there is both memory and stillness. Facelessness does two things. It protects the innocence of my siblings and it makes our stories more accessible. The child with detached head is a dissociative response to my environment. It is also a reflection of things said to me by adults about me. I suppose, indeed, if my head weren't attached, I would lose it. The more I painted these stories, the more I grew to accept my parents' flawed and fragile humanity. I learned to forgive and love them both. I have finally stopped fighting myself for being exactly who and what I am, a product of them. Being their daughter is no longer a jail sentence. It is the framework in which I have had to work to learn from and transcend. Maturity is now the lens I use to visit ancestors, lost loves, long gone friends, and youth without the burden of actually reliving events. I grieve and at the same time I breathe. I remember who I am.